Hey, kitchenettes. Sorry, I'm really late today. I didn't mean to be, but I was on a coaching call with my coach, who's like my soul sister too. So that's how we roll. We were, we were chatting it up. I always catch these lights. I'm sorry. Look at the cool, I don't know if you can even see it. Maybe I can turn this a little bit. Maybe I can turn it a little bit. I don't have enough kitchen space here. See, look at my cool little apron from my awesome business coach slash soul sister, wonderful Morrison, who is the best of the best. I'm very grateful to know her. She is top dollar, top dollar, top dollar. How is everybody tonight? I know I'm so super late. I'm sorry, you guys. And I'm on vacation, which makes it even worse because I had literally all day to prepare for this. And it just, stuff happens sometimes. You just got to roll with it, right? So anyways, welcome to my Bare Bones Kitchen, where if you have bare knowledge, bare essentials, I am hoping to inspire you to do something fun with what you have on hand. Hello, Jen. Hello, V. Cheers, ladies. So you might be thinking that mashed potatoes are lame, right? But what we do with them on Wednesday, because you got to join me for Wednesday. Tonight, I'm just going to show you how to make good mashed potatoes. But what I do with them on Wednesday is going to rock your world, I promise. Well, maybe it'll rock your world. It rocks my world. Zane's not very excited about it, but that should tell you something, right? So we're doing mashed potatoes tonight. We're mashing it up. I have, my potatoes have been boiling. Now, I learned, the valuable lesson that I learned is that when I think my potatoes are done, I need to wait for five more minutes because they're not done. I put my stainless steel bowl on top to heat it up because I don't want to put hot product in a cold bowl. So if you have a stainless steel bowl, do that. If you're using a KitchenAid mixer or something like that, just run the back side of your bowl, this, the back side of your mixing bowl under really hot water if you don't set it on top of your pot. And that's totally cool too. I'm gonna disappear out of screen for a minute because I need to drain my potatoes. But while I'm off screen, if everybody can just tell me or just do a little comment down in the bottom, where are you watching from? I gotta know where you're at. I know I, I live in Washington state, so obviously I'm gonna have lots of friends that live in Washington as well. But give me a city, give me a state. Let me know what's up. All right. Ooh, steamy. All right, so I got them in my bowl. I'm just gonna, let me see if I can turn this down here a little bit without throwing my phone everywhere. Hey, Spencer. That way you guys can see them. Shahila's in the house. Let me know where you're watching from, guys. Okay. So I was asked a very interesting question. Is there a difference in what potato you use? There can be a difference in what potato you use. Hey, Heather. If you use a more mealy potato, you're going to get a different texture out of the potatoes. I picked a white potato, which is slightly, I think, more waxy. Um, I bought them by the pound because if I buy a big five-pound bag of russets, uh, they're going to grow more potatoes before I use them all because I just don't use potatoes a lot. Um, mostly it's because I have connective tissue disorder and I'm supposed to stay away from things like potatoes and peppers and eggplant and all the nightshades. Um, but I can have sweet potatoes. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of fib on that a lot. Like, I, I eat more potatoes than I probably should. The whole goal, though, is that we want to mix up our potatoes before we start adding stuff to them to make them light and fluffy. And you don't want to add, you don't want to add cold stuff to hot stuff because it's going to bring your temperature down. So 
I have my milk warmed up and I actually melted my butter slightly. But back to the potatoes. So doing a waxy, more waxy potato um, is going to give you a different texture. Doing a more mealy potato, so like a russet, is going to give you a different texture in your final product. Um, it's really going to be your preference. And if you're using instant potatoes, you can totally do Wednesday's recipe with instant potatoes, okay? I'm telling you, this is going to be, it's going to be a fun Wednesday. So I just want to make sure I get all of these little lumps out of here. There's one that does not want to break. If you're just hopping on, make sure you tell me where you're watching from. And cheers to you. Hi, Alyssa. All right, I think we got a good consistency. There's there may be a couple lumps left, but we're gonna we're just gonna roll with it because I don't want to keep you guys for too long. I usually like to try to whip my potatoes for about 10 minutes, um, but we're just going to kind of scooch it along. So I melted, kind of melted a cube of butter, and I'm just going to put a big old blob of it in there because butter makes everything better, right? I should have broke out my KitchenAid mixer, but I don't like to lug it out because it's really heavy and it's got this really high-pitched whine. I don't want to overmix them either. I forgot to grab my salt and pepper too. And I actually did some roasted garlic. So I just took some garlic heads, I trimmed the tops off of them. I put them in the freezer so they'd cool off a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna squeeze this out of here. I did them on, I think 375 for a good 30 minutes. And it just, roasted garlic, good stuff, man. We're gonna rock out with some roasted garlic right now. I don't want to get the little shells in there, so. And this is really good, like the roasted garlic, if you put it on uh, bread, it's really good on bread, just plain old roasted garlic. My, one of the instructors in the culinary school I went to used to do that. She would just roast up garlic if it was getting to the point where it needed to be cooked, and we would all just pile around with some fresh baked bread from the bakery, well, there's nothing better, guys. Nothing better. Jasmine loves it when I do this. But I can't. I can't even. I'm getting all these shells in here. Ooh, sorry. It's all right. We'll work it out. As long as nobody's eating them later, right? This can be quite messy, but it's so delicious. Oh, see, now I'm throwing shit in there too. Look at that. Oh, geez. Hot mess, hot mess mom right now. I think I may have slightly overcooked my garlic a little bit because otherwise you can just squeeze it and it, I don't even want to tell you what it looks like. Y'all can figure it out yourselves, but that will make me vomit and we're not doing that tonight. <laughs> That's why Jasmine loves it. Love some roasted garlic. All right, I'm not going to get too picky about it because I do have three heads here, so. All right. Oh, pull out that little husk. All right. 
fingers a little rinse. Drop below where you're watching me from. Let me know who I'm shouting out. Lacey. Heather, you're in Lacey? I thought you were in Enumclaw or something. This is about the only way I can get Zane to eat mashed potatoes is by adding the cloves of garlic to it. garlic chunks and then I should have gotten white pepper today but we're going to do black pepper because that's what I have and this is bare bones kitchen and we just deal with what we have in our cupboards right guys a little salt a little pepper mix it back up again I checked, I got to give you an update. I checked numbers and I am sitting at 81 subscribers. I'm super stoked. I have an awesome prize for when we reach 100. So make sure you're sharing your favorite video or sharing the link to all the videos. I'll make sure to post it. Oh, your mom's back in town. How awesome for you. This is how we're rolling. Look at that. Yummy mashed potatoes. So yeah, share the video, guys. Um, when we get to 100, there's going to be another drawing because Zane wanted it to be special when I got to 100. So when there's 100 subscribers, we're going to do another drawing. I have something pretty awesome. Um, hopefully, you guys will think it's awesome, too. And yeah, so make sure you meet me on Wednesday. It will be 5 o'clock unless something super dramatic happens, but I will try to let you know if that is the case. Uh, thanks for joining me in my Bare Bones Kitchen. I appreciate you all. Make sure you drop where you're, calling, where you're watching from, calling from, whatever. And I will see you on Wednesday.